Hey and welcome to Luke RS. In this new series, we're going to be looking at creating a top-down shooter in Blender and Godot, uh, creating some simple animations, working with physics um, in Godot, and just a general workflow for creating a game. So what you see here, I've got a little character. I've attached a chain gun to him. Um, now this character you won't actually be able to get. I'm not going to be able to provide the resources for this. I got this from a humble bundle and it only has a license for one. I can't redistribute it, but I can give you the graphics. So um, I can give you some of the graphics that we'll be using. You might be able to get uh, a character model from uh, BlendSwap or OpenGameArt or itch.io. Plenty of places where you can get those. Um, this series has been designed for my year 12 students working through the outcome development assessment and it's focusing on the skills that they will need. They're not going to be assessed for the program or the modeling, although they may be if they do additional stuff. Um, and they'll be working as groups. So I'm kind of going to be splitting the video up into the animation and 3D stuff in Blender and then the Godot stuff so that they can, uh, uh, I guess, what would the word be? Um, designate who's going to be working on what for their particular game. And so the intention is to um, teach some essentials and give you the basics to work from and learn from and hopefully extend yourself. So if I have a look here at what we're going to be creating, this isn't the final thing, but I can see my little dude is here and uh, I'm not too flash on these colors because he's kind of hard to see on that. He's a little bit small as well. I can change the camera for that, but he's got a big chain gun and I can move around and there'll be some little walk animation. And I can move through these different rooms as well. Now there was actually a door in here that I removed. Here's a door over here. When I get close to it, it opens and we can see through into the other room. So we've got some line of sight happening. If I hold down the, the button, we get some little tracer fire coming out and uh, the machine gun and the screen shakes. So the longer you hold it down, the more the screen shakes. Um, and I think it's a pretty cool little effect. Uh, and then it makes it, <laughs> makes it a bit more random until you let go and then it slowly uh, starts to slow down again as the chain gun winds down. So that's a cool effect that we'll be adding and we'll be adding different enemies that will follow you. They won't be able to get through the doors but we're gonna add loads of enemies um, that will follow you, of course. Uh, items that you'll need to pick up and how to exit it. And just in general, how to design something in Godot. Uh, there will be a little bit of assumption made. So in Blender, I'm gonna assume you know how to use Blender at a basic capacity. I will be kind of talking about what keys I use and so on, but I will be going through the modeling pretty quick. Uh, most of my students have already done Blender modeling for quite a bit and uh, made some complex models. So they won't need a whole lot of um, additional tutorials for that, but we'll be looking at it and um, showing you how to put these materials on here, how to bring them through into Godot. We'll look at lighting later on. We'll look at graphic user interface. It's gonna be quite a long series, so if you're interested in it, I'll probably put five or six videos up at a time. Um, subscribe and like, and uh, you'll get notifications of when I pop a new video up. And um, I hope you enjoy it.